Welcome to the team presentation of Team Robo Erectus. In this presentation, I'll be talking about the team, the problems we investigated, the strategy, conclusion, and later share about my learning experience. Hello, I am Brendan Choi, and I am the sole member of Team Robo Erectus. I will be participating in the Coast Space Rescue University category. I have participated in the Coast Space Rescue category since 2014 when I joined Peihua Secondary School's Robotics Club. I have won multiple awards. In 2019, I joined Robo Erectors to participate in the RoboCup Asia Pacific held in Russia where my team won first place. These are the problems that I have decided to investigate to improve the program. To solve these problems, I have came up with two strategies. To find the shortest and quickest path, I have decided to adopt the A-star pathfinding algorithm to derive the shortest path. The other strategy is to use trigonometry to traverse through the info loss zone and turn the robot to its desired angle. To help you understand the strategies better, I will explain it further. And I will be starting with the A-star algorithm. The A-star algorithm is one of the most successful pathfinding algorithms out there due to its optimal efficiency. A demo of how it works is being shown on the right side of the screen. So how does it work? It uses three variables, the H cost, G cost, and F cost. The H cost is the estimated movement cost from the node to the destination. On the other hand, the G cost is the movement cost to move from the starting point to the target node. So the so the to get the F cost for each node, we will add both G and H cost together. However, there were numerous ways to estimate the H cost, and the options we had are the Manhattan distance, diagonal distance, and Euclidean distance. I will start off with the Manhattan distance. The Manhattan distance is the sum of the difference between the X and Y coordinates of the destination, and current node with the formula as follows. This method is usually used when the robot can only move in four directions, which means forwards, backwards, left and right. The next option is the diagonal distance. The diagonal distance is the absolute difference between the coordinates where the, the coordinates are compared separately, hence the two lines of code. This method of calculation is usually used when the robot can go in 8 directions, which is the 4 in the previous slide plus the 4 diagonal directions. The last option we have is the Euclidean distance, which is the actual distance between the node and destination. This is usually derived from Pythagoras theorem and hence the formula. This method is usually used when the robot can move at all angles. So to refresh your mind, there are three main methods in calculating the H-cost. Manhattan, Diagonal, and Euclidean. The Manhattan distance is used when the robot has access to four directions, whereas the, Euclid, the diagonal distance is used when the robot has access to eight directions. And finally, the Euclidean distance is used when there is access to all angles. Since the robot has access to all angles in the Coast Space Rescue, I have chosen to use the Euclidean distance for our pathfinding program. 
The next strategy I use is trigonometry. Trigonometry is very useful when it comes to anything to do with angles. Therefore, I'll explain how I implement it to the program. The first problem I will be talking about is the info loss zone. To transverse through the info loss zone, I will first convert the speed to the old version, which is dividing it by 20. This is because the old version of code space runs on speed 1 to 5. But in the new version, the speed ranges from 1 to 100. Therefore, it is 20 times of the old version. Next, I will convert the compass reading into radians as it is in degrees. Using this, I would calculate the angular velocity, which is the current angle, minus the previous angle divided by the change in time. Next, using the change in y coordinate, it is calculated using the cosine of the current angle and multiplying it by the y coordinate. Using this value, I will add it to the estimated y coordinate and hence obtain a new value. This value helps the robot move around the info loss zone as it is able to estimate its y coordinate when it's in the zone. Next, we'll be calculating the desired angle. First, the program will check for the difference between the target cell and the current position. Using this, if the target are not in the front, left, right, or back of the robot, we can use Trigo to calculate the actual degree. By using tangent inverse of the difference between the coordinates, and depending on the condition, add or subtract it to the relevant angles. 90, 180, or 2070. Therefore, trigonometry is a very useful tool when using to calculate angles and traversing on the xy plane. Next, I'll be talking about how the result has improved. Before implementing these strategies, the robot could not get much points as it was a random robot that roams around the area without a specific destination. However, by adding the pathfinding algorithm, it was able to move around the XY plane with more awareness and can get from one point to the other in the shortest amount of time, as it is able to get the desired angle to turn easily. Not only that, it is also now able to travel through the info loss zone like it was nothing. Therefore, its efficiency and increasing the average points that you can get by 451%. Through this competition, I have better understand how to use algorithms and might include more in the future. Also, I have discovered that Trigo is a very useful tool when it comes to calculating angles and estimated distance, especially on a 2D plane. With this experience, I hope I can further explore more algorithms and trigos to improve the program even further. Thank you, and you have come to the end of the presentation.